Shalom family, God bless you. Welcome back to Prophetic Intercession with Amel. If this is the first time you're seeing me or the first time you decided to click on my videos, thank you so much. I pray you never get disappointed in the name of Jesus. I know God let you here for a reason and I pray you stick around long enough to get that. I know that there is a word from the Lord for you through me and I know that if you stay around long enough, you're going to get that word. If this one right now is not not for you please kindly consider to become a part of this family by subscribing to this channel and turning on the notification bell so that whenever there is a new content you're gonna be the first to know and if this is not your first time family you already know I love you and I intercede for you always I pray God all the times mentioning your names and just calling the name of my family members and say Lord remember them and bless them keep your promise to them that is what I do all the time for you hallelujah so the lord sends me today with a word for someone god says i should tell you do not die in your nest do not die in your nest you know when you just gave your heart to christ before you called god already answered before you made a request god already granted it to you and it's very tempting and so many times we are tempted to remain in that position in a position in a baby position whenever we are we always run to god for our little needs and we we get them met by the lord and it's just like an eagle with with the, with, with their young an eagle with the eaglets when they are just born even before they are born you see how comfortable the eagle the mother eagle prepares the house for the nest for the eaglets it's so comfortable and because it just wants them to grow and when they start growing and they start growing the eagle start training the eaglets how to leave the nest how to fly how to soar and sometimes it becomes very uncomfortable the little eagle wants to always remain in the comfort of the nest they never want to leave the nest because right there they get every of their needs met that is the position with some of us christians baby christians when you just gave your heart to christ before you could call god had answered and you stayed in that position for so long in a position of comfort so much so that you do not go out to read you do not go out to get your needs met you do not go out to dare different possibilities you are just in that stage remember as a child there's only as much as you can get as a child there's only as much as you can get you can only feed on breast milk you cannot eat strong food is the same thing you can only have baby miracles you cannot have tangible miracles you cannot have miracles that will make your name be noised abroad you cannot have miracles that will make your names be written in the sands of time your name written in the sands of time tangible miracles and so god wants you out of that place god doesn't just want to feed you on breast milk but he wants you to have tangible miracles god doesn't only want to provide for you your daily bread he wants you to have achievements that will be noised abroad that will reflect his glory and for you to do that you've got to dare new things you've got to dare new territories you've got to go out and face the challenge and sometimes god does that by making you uncomfortable he makes you uncomfortable in your place where you are in your situation he makes life very difficult for you pushing you to go out and face the world so that you can have real tangible miracles you can have tangible testimonies the same thing as the mother eagle he start removing the comfort he starts removing the comforts from the from the nest he start removing the comfort and exposing the children to spikes that were covered by some very soft materials to make the children comfortable the mother eagle starts removing them so that the children become uncomfortable in the nest pushing them to go out and learn how to soar and learn how to soar like the eagles they are god says that is what he has been doing you have been in a very you you're asking god what happened before when i called you answer even before i could call you were already there to answer what happened right now sometimes i call i cry i pray you do not answer me god is saying he is trying to push you out of the nest he wants you to go right out of the nest he wants you to face new challenges he wants you to tackle life head on set high 
high goals and try to reach them. He's going to back you up. But as long as you are still staying in that comfort zone, in a place where you just have your needs met, you are never going to get out there. You are never going to have an outstanding, mind-blowing testimonies. What are testimonies? What are miracles? These are things that seemed almost impossible. They become testimonies and miracles because they seemed almost impossible. They seemed like they, they could never be achieved with our human strength. And so God backs us up when we decide to go out to new territories, when we decide to face new challenges, God backs us up and gives us a miracle. That is why it is called a miracle. God says, do not die in your nest. Do not die in that comfort zone. Someone, you are watching me right now and you're in a relationship. You know that that is not a relationship for you, but you are still there because you are comfortable. You are comfortable, but there is more. You know in your heart of hearts, there is more. With that relationship, you will hardly fulfill your life's purpose. Your your purpose, the, the reason why God sent you here on earth. But you just feel comfortable you are just feeling comfortable and you don't want to leave the lord says do not die in your nest that relationship is going to choke up your potentials and you're not going to manifest the full potentials god gave to you and someone you are just a worker you are working in a company in an organization and god is saying that is not where you're supposed to be you are a visionary you are a leader he has put an idea in your mind but you are so scared to go out and face it because you're asking yourself how how do I pay my bills? I'm not sure about this idea yet. You are just you are just comfortable moving from paycheck to paycheck, and the idea God has given you is laying in you and wasting. God says, I should tell you, do not die in your nest. Go out and try to execute that idea. God is gonna back you up. You are not living in your full potentials, you are not maximizing your full potentials. God wants you to go out and spread your wings so you can soar. If you do not go out, you never know know that you can soar. If the baby eaglet does not go out, if the mother eaglet does not even throw the baby eaglet out, the baby eaglet will never know they can soar. So many times the eagle does the what is called the, eag the eagle's game. The eagle's game is when the mother eagle carries the young eaglets out and starts throwing them off, letting them to, to see how far they can fly, letting training them on how they can fly, training them on how to survive. Someone you're watching me, you are in that stage in your right, your in your life right now God has taken you out of the nest and is training you how to fly. He's training you how to maximize your potentials and you are crying. You feel like you are about to die. You feel like you are, the, the situation is going to kill you, but it's not going, It's not meant to kill you. That situation is not meant to kill you. It's meant to help you exercise your wings. It's meant to help you develop your wings because you are eager. You are supposed to fly, but as long as you are in the nest, you would never know you can fly. You just know that you, all you know is mama is always going to bring food for me but God is taking you out of the nest and is training you to fly that is why he keeps dropping you from time to time and you and, and mind you you never die you keep surviving you keep surviving at every punch or every blow that comes you keep surviving and you just keep realizing that you're stronger than you thought you're stronger than you imagine that is God taking you out of the nest he says trust him he's not gonna let you down he's not gonna let you die go out and explore the world go out and explore your potential when the mother eagle takes the children out and is training them how to fly he leaves them he, he takes them he takes them to a cliff and drops them and they start struggling to fly they start struggling to survive the ones that do not yet know the ones that are trying so hard and it's impossible for them immediately they are about to drop to the ground the mother eagle catches them and takes them back to the nest or starts training them all over again until they are strong enough that is what God is doing with you he will not let you die when he sees that your strength is failing you when he sees that you are about to hit rock bottom, he's going to catch you right before you fall and take you up to the cliff again. Sometimes he's going to take you home so you can rest, pamper you, give you food to eat, and then take you off to the cliff again So and drops you so you learn how to fly. Until you learn how to fly, God is not going to give up on you. God is committed to making you better, to making you stronger, to making you a survivor. And you know how the eagle does it. When, the, when a mature eagle, you know how the dog how they do it even when they face the storm as a matter of fact the eagle uses the storm to their advantage they use the storm to soar when the storm is coming while other small birds are running away for safety the eagle spreads its wing 
against the current of the of the storm and the storm pushes the ego to its destination that is what god wants for you god wants to make you a, a, a an eagle God wants to make you an eagle and so he doesn't want you to die in your nest. He doesn't want you to die as a baby eagle. He wants you to reach your full potentials. He's saying there is more out there for you if only you can learn how to soar. There is more out there for you if only you can learn how to soar. And God says do not feel bad. Do not feel like God hates you. Do not feel like he's not fair with you. Do not feel like your own training is so difficult. It's because of the heights he wants you to attain. And so he keeps taking you to the cliff and dropping you so you can learn how to soar so you can learn how to fly as fast as possible and so that you're gonna be that bird that other birds cannot stand by because you you saw with the current of the wind hallelujah father lord i thank you for this prophetic word lord i pray that this word goes to build the faith of someone and send them out of their nest to learn how to fly to face life's challenges knowing that you are with them knowing you're never gonna let them fall knowing you're never going to tempt them, tempt them beyond what they can handle. In the name of Jesus, Father Lord, I pray that even as they muster the courage to go out and face their lives and face challenges and face the world, you would never leave them nor forsake them. In the mighty name of Jesus.